welcome in this video we are going to prove that curl of curl of a it is equal to gradient of divergence of a minus del 2 a del 2 is called the laplacian so we can write it in the symbolic form curl of curl of a that means the curl is taken two times curl of a then curl of that quantity so it is gradient of divergence that is del dot a minus laplacian del to a now we will solve it so to solve it we take the three component of a as a x i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap now we take the curl of a first so what is curl of a it can be had by taking the determinant i cap j cap and k cap it is del over del x del over del y and del over del z then the component of a the component of a are a x a y and a z to solve this determinant we write the first element that is i cap this column this row will be out and this will be sold that means del over del y del over del y of a z similarly del over del z of a y minus del a y over del z that is the i now we write the second one with minus sign that is j cap then del over del x a z del a z over del x minus del a x over del z plus k cap the third term that means this row and this column will be out and it will be del over del x a y so it will be del a y over del x minus del a x over del y now we will make this j positive so that three components can be identified clearly del a z over del y minus del a y over del z plus j cap that is del a x del z minus del a z del x plus k cap del a y del x minus del a x del y now it is curl of a so it is actually curl of a this is x component this is y component and this is z component now we will take curl of this quantity that it will be curl of curl of a so we will make the determinant the i cap we will write j cap then we will write k cap del over del x del over del y and del over del z then we write the three components of curl of a that is del a z del y minus del a y del z the second component this one it is del a x del z minus Sorry, minus del a z del x third component del a y del x minus del a x del y now what will you do we will solve this determinant so it will be equal to i cap first then this bracket this column this row will be out and these two terms these two terms will be sold del over del y so it is del over del y of this quantity this so it is del a y del x minus del a x del y minus minus of this one del over del z of this bracket so it is del a x del z minus del a z del x minus j so it is minus of j j cap bracket 
the first row and the second column will be out and this will be del over del x of this quantity the third one so it is del of a y del x minus del of a x del y minus this del over del z and first term this del a z del y minus del a y del z plus k cap this first row and the third column will be out it will be del over del x bracket this one it is del a x del z minus del a z del x minus minus of this one that is del over del y this term it is del over del y a z minus del a y over del z now there are two terms here two terms here two terms here now what is this we will make this j positive how we can take this negative sign inside so it will become positive this term will become minus and this term will become positive so you can write in the separate row that it is i this quantity plus j plus k so there are three components here the component of i is del over del y and del over del z now what we can do we can see easily that the component of i cap and component of j cap and component of k cap can be written in sequence that means the x you change x to y you change y to z and you change z to x you get the next component so in the i component you can see in the first component if i change y to z then i will get this term if i change z to x i will get this term in the second term if i change z to x i will get this term and if i change x to y you know i will get this term that means there is no need to write all three components we can write only first component that is i cap so we can write it as this curl of curl of a and we can write the x component only so in the x component what is this i cap del over del y del a y del x minus del a x del y minus del over del z del a x del z minus del a z del x now what can i do i take this partial differentiation inside the it will become double differentiation so it will be i cap it is del 2 a y del y del x minus it is del 2 a x it is del y 2 minus it is del 2 a x del z 2 it is plus del 2 a z upon del z del x so now there are two positive terms and two negative terms it is negative here so there are two positive terms two negative terms here now what is required it is required in the negative expression as well as positive expression but there will be three terms here and three terms here that means the missing term so the missing term is del 2 ax del x2 so what we'll do adding and subtracting this term which one del 2 x and del x2 so while we adding this term the positive terms become three what are the positive terms i cap we write the positive term separately first one del 2 ax del x2 which was added plus this term and this term 
प्लस डेल टू ए वाई डेल वाई डेल एक्स प्लस डेल टू ए जेड डेल जेड डेल एक्स माइनस माइनस देर आर टू माइन नेगेटिव टर्म्स एंड दिस टर्म इज ऑल्सो सब्टेक्टेड फर्स्ट वी राइट दिस टर्म डेल टू एक्स डेल एक्स टू माइनस डेल टू एक्स डेल वाई टू माइनस सो इट इज इट बिकम्स प्लस बिकॉज माइनस इज टेकन आउटसाइड प्लस डेल टू एक्स डेल जेड टू दिस ब्रैकेट क्लोज सो इट इज ओनली द एक्स कंपोनेंट दैट इज द कंपोनेंट विच इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आई कैप so what we will do you can see here it is del over del x is always there it means differentiation with respect to x or you can say partial differentiation with respect to x is taken you so can take outside i cap del over del x and then the bracket one the double differentiation become single differentiation that is del of ax del x plus del of ay del y plus del of az del z this bracket becomes complete now the second one second one minus this one so ax here ax here ax here ax can be taken to the right side so we take del 2 del x 2 plus del 2 del y 2 plus del 2 del z 2 and ax and also the i cap it is common to both bracket so it is ax i cap so it is the x component x component of which quantity it was curl of curl of a then x x component so we can write the y component and the z component by changing x to y y to z and z to x that means curl of curl of a i can write the y component how this i changed to j x is changed to y del over del y bracket x is changed to y del a y del y y changed to z it becomes del a z del z plus z is changed to x del a x del x minus this becomes del 2 del y 2 plus del 2 del z 2 and z become x that means it becomes z del 2 del x 2 it becomes a y and it is j cap now we can also write what we can write z component so curl of curl of a we can write z component so we can write the z component here in the z component this j become k cap del over del z del a z del z plus del a x del x and this will x become y del a y del y bracket closes then minus and then also y becomes z that is del 2 del z 2 plus del 2 del x 2 plus del 2 del y 2 and it becomes a z k cap now we can add these three components to know the value of curl of curl of a when we add these three components we know that the value which is inside the bracket is same only the order is changed that means so the what we can see we see that the value inside this bracket is same it means though it can be taken outside or you can say it can be taken common what remaining is i cap del over del x plus j cap del over del y plus k cap del over del z and what is being taken common the bracket term so bracket term was del a x del x plus del a y del y plus del a z del z minus also the second bracket is same that means 
the bracket is del 2 del x2 plus del 2 del y2 plus del 2 del z2 and by taking this common the remaining terms are axi cap plus ayj cap plus azk cap so what is this the first term is first term is actually del that is the gradient what is this second term the second term is actually this is divergence of a what is this term after negative sign it is double differentiation partial that means it is del 2 and what is this term this term is a so which is equal to the right hand side that means we have proved the result what is this curl of curl of a so curl is taken twice curl of curl of a that will be equal to gradient of divergence of a minus del 2 a that is the laplacian operator so in this way we have proved the result the pdf copy of these notes can be found in the description below thank you